What's up, Team MBL? It's Music by Lucas. And Lauren Ray. He's the producer. I'm the filmmaker. Let's get to the video. Hey, isn't your birthday on Monday? My birthday is on Monday, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you want to definitely be checking our Instagram stories and your email because we have a lot of surprises. Yes. The number one question we get all the time is this video. How do I make money as a DJ or a producer? A lot of people obviously want to make money to be able to support themselves, to continue the career of being a DJ producer. And also, a lot of times it's to get the parents' approval that what they're going after is actually possible. And that's fine, and it's not always important to get your parents' approval, but it just it just secures that what you're doing is right. We totally understand that. So I think what we're going to go through in this video is going to be really important for yeah, you guys. Yeah, and if you don't want to have to be working a bunch of side jobs yeah. to pay the rent, if you want to make this your career, well, I think that's, that's what we're going to talk about. The things that will make you the most money in the long term are going to make you the least money in the short term. Okay. <laughs> what do you think are the things that you have to do in the short term that are most important that are going to be able to make you the most money in the long term? Making content, which would be your music, not going to pay you right now. Getting plays on uh, streaming services like Spotify or on social media like YouTube, getting likes, building your following on Instagram, building your following in general, building an email list, all of these things are not going to pay you right away. But if you don't have them, then you, you're not gonna make the most money long-term because they will bring to the table all of the opportunities that are gonna make your career. So starting with making music, if you don't take the time to invest in yourself to make the music, obviously it's not going to exist. And music itself doesn't really make very much money. All these plays on Spotify and everything, they're not really paying you that much. But what they do, the more you can get, is they bring to the table all of these other opportunities. For example, you might have a booking agency that says, ooh, we want this guy to play live shows. He gets a lot of plays. Yeah. You might have a record label that's, hey, I want to work with this guy because he made some good music and he got supports from this person and this person. He made a great collab. All of these things, all of these opportunities, they wouldn't exist if it wasn't for the fact that you took the time in the beginning yeah. thinking long term to make the music that was going to propel your career. We say this time and time again. You guys have heard us say it a million times. You're probably bored of it. But we're always talking about the branding and marketing of yourself, your social media following growth and all of that it's super important and right now it seems really stupid and foolish and probably a waste of your time but it's not it's one of those things that just doesn't make money at the beginning but you really have to do it and have it and honestly if you grow larger on your social media following than your music has you can use that as leverage to get your music heard like people love that nowadays oh my gosh you have that many followers or you have that much of an engaged audience, hmm, that means something. Let me listen to your track. It just seems like something that you could use in the future, so so why not have it? Why not grow a following and a fan base so that when your track does get dropped on a label or whatever and it's listened to and everything, you're gonna have a fan base that's gonna go press play and listen to it. The label's gonna be like, glad we got that guy. <laughs> not only you know that, I mean? but if you have a following, you don't really even need the label as much. You could start booking your own tours, True. your own selling your own merch, yeah. doing things that will make you the most money long term. The funny thing though is in the beginning when you're trying to build that social following, everyone is going to get on you about all this time you're spending on it. They're gonna be like, why are you always on Instagram taking photos? Why are you always- Why do you need to take a picture? of this why are you on your phone yeah why what, what, what is it making you money no oh I don't really get it but the thing that they don't get is you're planning you're thinking long term. yeah you understand that you're building a following these fans this audience that is going to get engaged and is going to help you make a career you have to remind yourself constantly because you are gonna get a lot of outside you know opinions and stuff of what you're doing you have to constantly remind yourself that this time that you're putting into it in the long term especially at the end when you reach your goal it's a blink of an eye. It's it's not gonna be that long in your memory of your life. You know, you're gonna remember when it worked, but you're not gonna remember that struggle when everybody was like making fun of you or asking why you're taking a picture. Just laugh at them on the inside and know yeah. that in the future it's gonna make you tons of money. Yeah, and it'll bring to the table other opportunities that you might not even be thinking of right now. Totally. Like, for example, if you're always using an M audio keyboard in all of your pictures in your yeah. studio on Instagram, eventually if you have enough of a following. Companies like M Audio, these these companies that you're using their products right now that you paid for, they're going to contact you and want to sponsor you. Not only give you free products, but pay you to post about them. And you're already using the products, so that's super easy. Yeah. And they'll pay you to have them help you sell the products. Like if someone buys the piano, you'll get a commission on that. Yeah. It's long-term things. You're going to start getting all of these brand deals, which is what they're called, and it's going to be super easy for you to make your career. So you're making your music and you're spending some time on your social media. Don't think of like 
I have to do one or the other, do both because they help each other out. And like he said, the social media following equals brand deals, brand deals equals money. These days, whether you like it or not, your following count is part of your paycheck. It's how much they're going to look at this when they're deciding how much to pay you. If you're living at home with your parents right now and money is not a huge concern, you don't need to go get a job right away, take advantage of that time. This is the time for you to really invest with no like worries about like, yeah, totally. yeah. And so take advantage of that time. Try to put as much as you can into building your following, into working on your music, watching these videos, trying to get ahead. And if you are living at your parents' house, you're just of that age or whatever, and you think you only have a few years left before you have to start making money with music and you're feeling all this pressure and this stress, try not to feel that way at all because honestly a lot can happen in a year's time if you think a year is a really short amount of time it's actually a really long amount of time for things to happen for you you never know what's around the corner you never know um, if you're gonna get a song played here or finally make that track that gets signed or finally get your social following here or get on the Spotify playlist here or get supported by who you don't know about that so why are you thinking and stressing about it so much because it hasn't even happened yet <laughs> just try to work really hard and as you guys are already doing you're watching videos like these you're working on your music you're trying to do as much as you can try to de-stress a little bit because nobody and no artist can function under such stress I don't think and the, that's the most important thing and on the flip side if you do need to get a job if you do need to start making some money that's totally fine yeah. you know you can get that side job and you'll actually appreciate the time that <laughs> you get to work on so your music more true honestly like <laughs> I had a few years outside of high school, which is in America here, like after school basically, um, where my parents were like, okay, you know, we'll support whatever you want to do and whatever. And I didn't have to get a job for a little while there. I swear I wasted more time during those years than when I actually had to suck it up and start making my own money and pay for my own stuff and bills and everything. Yeah. That's when I really started to work extra, extra hard because every time that I had available, I worked on it. I never would procrastinate. I never did anything. I Since I had that, on my basically yeah. <laughs> I had to work harder in that so don't think of it so much as like a negative thing like I'm I, I have all this time spent away from my music or I have to have a job to do that sometimes you get more accomplished because of it. so you probably just watched this video and you were like hey I clicked on this video because I want to know how to make money now I'm struggling now I want to make money from music now why aren't there five ways to make music make money doing music <laughs> now and you just watched this video and you're mad about yeah, it yeah and you said clickbait and <laughs> thumb down it <laughs> well basically we're trying to tell you right now that the most money is at the end. It's at the end and, and you can make money in small ways now, but don't you want to make a lot of money? Don't you want this to be your career? Don't you want to be like, achieve all of your it dreams? It sucks to have just patience. just a minor success? Yeah, it sucks to have patience. It, it sucks to like go through it all, but there's a bigger payoff in the end if you do because quick fixes and quick money it just doesn't do as much for you and how you feel about your personal success as working really hard towards a goal and then securing it in the end. Absolutely. So we explained how to do things now that don't technically make too much money, but will make money at the end. Yeah. So we're sorry to uh, spoil it for you, but yeah. that's kind of the truth and that's honestly why we made this video because we sort of wanted to like talk about that. And what we want you to do is come back to this video in two years, <laughs> once you have killed it, once you have done all the things we just told you and just comment and be like, <laughs> Boom. Okay, you just got a lot of information thrown at you and then a very passionate paragraph there towards the end. So you're probably like, okay, but what about personally for me? I don't know where I am or what I should really focus on. Like, okay, I'll get on Spotify and I'll start my Instagram and all this other stuff, but you'll feel lost after starting it or whatever, or you're confused. If you're part of the producer team, you know. This is the perfect place to talk to other people to figure out what's up, one-on-one -on -one with Skype, with Lucas, so he can be like, let me see your stuff. Huh, all right, um, you should do this or focus on that. And it's just nice to have like a community of people going through this together and also having a similar mindset and goal in mind, you know, because since we're all part of like, yeah. producers team, we're always talking about branding and marketing and we understand that. Sometimes, you know, you can be a part of a community that's like, just make good music and then you're good. You know, it's <laughs> that's, like- That's actually why it's tough to, to like, for master classes and stuff like that, because it's, it's just reaching out to everyone. Yeah. It's something that everyone can use, but it's not specific just for you. Exactly. And that's where I think the Skypes are the coolest, because like you said, we can yeah. look at all of the stuff that you that's have true. and really actually help you make a strategy that's specific for you, where you came from, your interests, your hobbies, your genre of music that you like, your age, 
all of that. Lucas and I spend all this time and energy on the producer team because we actually want to help all you guys. Cause come on, if one of you becomes famous, you know, DJ, you gotta hook a girl up. You know what I'm saying? Like we are doing it for you. So like if you if you're thinking about joining, I don't know, you you should look into it. Honestly, I'm just so passionate today. This is. So There's passion. a lot of passion There's coming on. a lot of passion going on. We're so today. passionate. All right, enough talking from us, Lucas. And remember, guys, it's all <laughs> about teamwork. We got new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you're not a member of the team yet, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I'm Music by Lucas. Lawrence E. Ray and Kingsley here. And we'll see you next video.